What is LTE serving PCI? Physical cell identity. LTE serving PCI, physical cell identity, is a unique identifier assigned to a cell within an LTE network. The serving PCI is used by user equipment to identify the cell it is currently connected to and to ensure efficient handover between cells. There are several factors that can affect the serving PCI in an LTE network, including 1. Network capacity. The number of users connected to the network and the available bandwidth can impact the serving PCI. 1. In congested networks, the serving PCI may need to be changed to balance the load on the network. 2. Interference. Interference from nearby cells or other sources can affect the serving PCI. 2. If the interference level is high, the serving PCI may need to be changed to improve network performance. 3. Cell configuration. The configuration of the cell, such as the power level and antenna configuration, can affect the serving PCI. 3. Changes to the cell configuration may require a change in the serving PCI. 4. Hardware or software issues. Hardware or software issues in the network equipment or user equipment can affect the serving PCI. To address issues with the serving PCI in an LTE network, network operators can take several solutions, such as 1. Network optimization. Network operators can optimize the network parameters, such as power control and handover settings, to improve network capacity and reduce interference. 2. Automatic PCI Adjustment. LTE networks can use automatic PCI adjustment algorithms to detect and mitigate interference and congestion issues. 2. These algorithms automatically adjust the serving PCI to balance the load on the network. 3. Manual PCI Adjustment. Network operators can manually adjust the serving PCI for a particular cell to improve network performance. 3. This process involves analyzing the network performance data and selecting a new PCI that will provide the best performance. 4. Upgrading network equipment. Upgrading the network equipment, such as the base station or user equipment, can improve network performance and reduce interference. 5. Monitoring and maintenance. Regular monitoring and maintenance of the network equipment and user equipment can help detect and resolve issues that may affect the serving PCI. In summary, the serving PCI is a critical parameter in an LTE network that ensures efficient handover between cells. Several factors, such as network capacity, interference, cell configuration, and hardware or software issues, can affect the serving PCI. Network operators can use several solutions, such as network optimization, automatic PCI adjustment, manual PCI adjustment, upgrading network equipment, and monitoring and maintenance, to address issues with the serving PCI and improve network performance. What is LTE serving RSRP? LTE serving RSRP reference signal received power, is a key parameter used in LTE networks to measure the signal strength between the user equipment and the serving cell. It is measured in decibels per milliwatt, dBm. The higher the RSRP, the better the signal quality and network performance. Several factors can affect the serving RSRP, including 1. Distance from the cell. The distance between the user equipment and the serving cell is a crucial factor in determining the RSRP. 1. The further the distance, the weaker the signal strength, and the lower the RSRP. 2. Obstructions. Obstructions such as buildings, hills, and trees can obstruct the signal and reduce the RSRP. 3. Interference. Interference from other cells or external sources such as electrical equipment or radio waves, can reduce the RSRP. 4. Signal attenuation. 
Signal attenuation occurs when the signal passes through materials such as concrete or metal. 4. This can result in a lower RSRP. How can improve the serving RSRP and network performance? Network. To improve the serving RSRP and network performance, network operators can take several solutions such as 1. Cell site optimization. Network operators can optimize the cell site locations, antenna configuration, and transmission power to ensure adequate signal coverage and strength. 1. This can result in an improvement in the serving RSRP. 2. Signal boosting. Network operators can use signal boosters to enhance the signal strength in areas with low RSRP. 2. Signal boosters can amplify the signal, resulting in improved RSRP. 3. Interference mitigation. Network operators can mitigate interference from external sources, such as electrical equipment or radio waves by shielding the signal and reducing the impact on the RSRP. 4. Frequency Band Optimization Network operators can optimize the frequency bands used for LTE transmissions to improve RSRP. 5. Site Maintenance Regular maintenance of the cell site equipment can help ensure proper functioning and minimize signal attenuation, resulting in better RSRP. In summary, the serving RSRP is a critical parameter in an LTE network that measures the signal strength between the user equipment and the serving cell. Several factors such as distance, obstructions, interference, and signal attenuation can affect the serving RSRP. Network operators can take several solutions such as cell site optimization, signal boosting, interference mitigation, frequency band optimization, and site maintenance to improve RSRP and network performance.